Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disorder causing hair loss on the scalp and other body parts. The immune system mistakenly attacks hair follicles, leading to patchy hair loss and emotional distress for those affected. Lexilvi, duroxolitinib, is an oral JAK inhibitor recently approved by the US FDA for treating severe alopecia areata. The drug aims to address the underlying autoimmune process, offering hope to those with this challenging condition. Lexelvi targets the Janus Canase, JAK, pathways involved in the immune response. By inhibiting these pathways, it helps reduce the autoimmune attack on hair follicles, potentially restoring hair growth in patients. Clinical trials for Lexelvi demonstrated promising results. In the Thrive AA1 and Thrive AA2 trials, patients with severe alopecia areata were treated with Lexelvi at 8 mg or 12 mg twice daily, or a placebo for 24 weeks. Results showed that over 30% of patients achieved substantial hair regrowth, up to 80%. The recommended dosage of Lexelvi for treating severe alopecia areata is 8 mg orally twice daily, with or without food. If a dose is missed, patients should skip it and resume dosing at the next scheduled time. Prior to starting Lexelvi treatment for severe alopecia areata, several important steps should be taken. These include testing patients for CIP2C9 variants to determine their genotype, evaluating concomitant use of CIP2C9 inhibitors, assessing active and latent tuberculosis, screening for viral hepatitis, monitoring complete blood counts, and ensuring necessary immunizations are up to date. Administration details should be followed as per healthcare provider instructions to ensure the best possible outcome and minimize risks. The most common adverse reactions associated with Lexelvi include headache, acne, nasopharyngitis, increased blood creatine phosphokinase, hyperlipidemia, fatigue, weight gain, lymphopenia, thrombocytosis, anemia, skin and soft tissue infections, neutropenia, and herpes. Patients should report any unusual symptoms to their healthcare provider promptly. Lexelvi carries an increased risk of serious bacterial, fungal, viral, and opportunistic infections, including tuberculosis. If a serious infection occurs, treatment should be interrupted until the infection is controlled. Patients should be tested for latent TB before and during therapy, and latent TB should be treated prior to using Lexelvi. Even patients with an initial negative latent TB test should be monitored for active TB during treatment. Compared to TNF blockers, Lexelvi has a higher all-cause mortality rate, including sudden cardiovascular death. It's important to note that Lexelvi is not approved for use in rheumatoid arthritis patients. Malignancies, specifically lymphomas and lung cancers, have been reported in patients treated with Lexelvi. The incidence is higher when compared to TNF blockers in RA patients. Lexelvi is associated with an increased risk of MACE, which includes cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction, and stroke. This risk is higher than that observed with TNF blockers in RA patients. Thrombosis events, including pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, and cerebral venous sinus thrombosis have occurred in patients treated with Lexelvi. The incidence of thrombosis is elevated compared to TNF blockers. Additionally, Lexelvi should not be used in patients who are CYP2C9 poor metabolizers or those taking moderate or strong CYP2C9 inhibitors. Gastrointestinal perforations have been observed, so monitoring patients at risk for gastrointestinal perforation is essential. Regular monitoring of lipids, hemoglobin, neutrophils, and lymphocytes is recommended. Live vaccines should be avoided during or immediately prior to Lexelvi treatment, and patients should be up to date with all immunizations before starting Lexelvi. Lexelvi is contraindicated in patients who are CYP2, C9 poor metabolizers, or those using moderate or strong CYP2, C9 inhibitors. Patients receiving Lexelvi should avoid live vaccines and close contact with individuals who have received live vaccines. This precaution helps prevent potential complications related to immune system suppression. Lexelvi should not be used during pregnancy due to potential fetal harm. Pregnant women should be aware of this risk. For breastfeeding women, Lexelvi should be avoided until one day after the last dose. Discussing the potential risks and benefits with a healthcare professional is crucial in such cases.
Patients with a history of blood clots or cardiovascular issues should use Lexelvi cautiously. Regular monitoring and communication with the healthcare provider are vital for safe treatment. Additionally, patients with severe renal or hepatic impairment should not use Lexelvi. It's essential to share all health conditions with your healthcare provider to ensure the appropriate dose. Patients should inform their healthcare provider about all medications and supplements they are taking. Some drugs may interact with Lexelvi, affecting its efficacy or increasing the risk of side effects. Adherence to prescribed Lexelvi treatment and follow-up appointments is crucial for achieving the best results. Regular communication with healthcare providers ensures the management of any arising issues. Lexelvi's approval marks a significant advancement in the treatment of severe alopecia areata. With proper use and medical guidance, it offers new hope for patients struggling with this challenging condition. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more such videos. See you in the next video.